Hello, I'm Jeff. This is World Guitars TV. Uh, I think you know that already. We do now. Okay, this is my friend Neville Martin. Hello. And uh, known Nev for too many years. You wouldn't believe how many years. Anyhow, there's a reason for us two oldies sitting on this couch here. I have a guitar here which um, belongs to Neville and it was made for Neville by Paul Reed Smith. It's a, a 1989 signature, signature number 402. There's some writing on the back of the headstock that you'll see in a minute. It's a stunner in crazy ridiculous condition. He should be telling you about it because it's been his guitar for 89, 99, a long time, 23 years. Yeah, yeah. Right, 23 year old guitar, it's in vintage sunburst with the most obviously astonishing top on it in, as I've already said, crazy condition. Um, beautiful Brazilian rosewood fingerboard, lovely birds, such a vintage vibe about it. As it's a signature, it's Paul's signature on the headstock, so it's not like a logo, a deco, it's, it's Paul's signature. This guitar's fitted with um, an HFS in the bridge and uh, no, it's not an HFS, no. it's an original treble pickup it's in the multi tap, multi tap. Thanks, Nev. Yeah. And it's a vintage bass yes. in the neck, yeah. uh, five way rotary. But can yeah. you explain, Nev, this yeah. is different to the modern guitars with five way rotaries because it's got this multi tap pickup in the bridge. So, Nev's going to show you what that does. It's really cool because I, I ordered this from Paul with Jeff Whitehorn. We both ordered our signatures around the same table on the same day with Paul and we both specified the same controls because we didn't like the sweet switch that they came with at the time. So on this, it's really cool because it's got the five-way rotary which I really, really do like and works really well. The way it works is, is fully that way. It's the, the neck pickup full humbucking. Next one, it's the two outside coils, single coils together in a stratish kind of sound. The next one, it's those two together in a slightly more stratish, thinner, uh, softer kind of sound, but that in between -y sound. The next pickup is the this bridge, this pickup, single coil ish. I don't think they're actually single coil, but they are single coil toned. I think they're still humbucking, but single coil kind of sound. Then fully, it's the bridge humbucker. So it's a, an, an amazing array of tones that you get from, from the guitar. Um, everything about it's original. Has it um, been refretted, Nev? No, it hasn't been refretted. Amazing. Yeah. Um, I used it as my main guitar for I think six or seven years. So it's a used guitar, but it's not um, an abused guitar. It's really nice. Um, it's got lovely, lovely feel neck on it. Um, beautiful abalone birds because they they were real abalone, abalone then. Um, they. It's not a ten top because they didn't put all the signatures were ten top, so they didn't put ten on there. The woods on the signatures, and they made a thousand. That's all they made a thousand. The woods on the signatures were the best woods that PRS could find at that time, and at the time they were always already using the best woods of anybody in the world. So this was the best of the best. And look at that maple top; it's phenomenal. Um, it's in really great condition. It's not ten out of ten, but it's got to be nine out of ten. On the back of the headstock, there's written by Paul, hand built for me, signature number 402. Uh, and as Jeff says on the front of the headstock, that's not a decal, that, that is hand, Paul's handwritten signature. So it's a very, very cool guitar. And the only reason that I'm selling it is I've actually, the PRS I use today is a, a DGT. And I like the, the darker tone of that. This is a, a 24 fret guitar, so it's got a slightly different tone. And uh, plus, I don't want to be taking it out and using it all the time because it's a, it's a. It, this is now. Well, when you consider that Eric Clapton's '59 Les Paul was six years old when he used it on the Blues Breakers album, mm -hmm. this is 23 years old. So this is over three times as vintage as Eric's Les Paul was back then. So you want to say any more, Jeffrey? No, it's just a crazy guitar, isn't it? And a fabulous top and great providence and. Um, I'd like it myself, Nev, but I've got to sell guitars, I'm afraid. So, there you go. It's going to be nicely priced. We haven't worked it out yet, um, but it'll be sensible money, and it'll be on our website soon. And obviously, this is WGTV, so you'll see this video, um, stating the obvious there, as I always do. But um, anyhow, nice to see Nev again as well. I haven't seen him for at least two weeks. Been a long time, mate. Yes, indeed. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Over and out. Thanks, Jeff. I don't feel lonely now